is alive with the dunk. Welcome to this month's edition of Portside with the Pilots. I'm your host, Jamie Hudson. It's hard to believe that we are already just under a month away from the start of the fall sports season at the University of Portland, but there's still plenty happening here on the bluff this summer. Coming up, an update on the Beauchamp Recreation and Wellness Center, which is set to open later this summer. Plus, we count down the top five University of Portland alumni moments from the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup. Also, we look back at a historic pilot performance at the 2015 NCAA Track and Field Championships. But first, the University of Portland Alumni Reunion Weekend brought together student athletes from the pilots cross country programs from all eras, including a graduate from the class of 1964 the history of both programs is impressive, with the women's team capturing seven straight West Coast Conference championships from 2002 to 2008. Well, the men's team has won 34 WCC titles altogether. Those accomplishments were celebrated over the weekend. When I walked into the room and I saw so many legendary pilots in one spot, it was really cool. There's a continuity and a legacy to our program, and it was really a great feeling to see, you know, how many people have influenced somebody in the future. The best comparison is it's like it's like a family member, you know, and that's that's how I that's how I view these guys, you know. Even though I haven't seen them for years, you know, we can just pick up right where we left off and it's really like blood. I've lived in the area since I graduated college, so I have come back a few times, but it's neat to see the campus change. I mean, the physical structures, new additions, but then it's also great to see all the people come back too. Some people who don't live in the area, it's great to reconnect with some of them. It just feels so familiar, and it's really neat to be able to recreate that and just kind of realize that that, that bond, that connection that we built is, is still there. It's really special to see guys coming in and, you know, as kind of bright-eyed freshmen as we all were. And then my fifth year was the freshman class was this year's graduating class, so it was pretty special to see them do super well and, and kind of achieve their, their potential. I celebrate that finish more than, than any accomplishment I had individually or as a team. I was there that day. I was there in the Hall of Fame room watching, and it was probably the greatest moment in pilot history there. And I think it was, you know, like we were so psyched for them and so psyched for those guys and, you know, it was, it was awesome. To see that, you know, University of Portland finishing third pop up on the screen and see that room explode, I mean, that, that, that really is the essence of our program. It's, 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 it's the history of, of the guys that have, have been here uh, prior. The program has evolved tremendously. Uh, so my freshman year in the fall of 1990 was Rob's first year coaching here. It was just the start of something back then. It was just the start of uh, fostering that kind of attitude that, that we can compete with anybody and that we're going to train hard and that we're going to build this up into something. Rob and Ian both have done such a great job with both the men's and women's team and just seeing the level of athletes that we have now. I mean, I, when I ran, like the times they're running now, I don't even think I'd make the team. So <laughs> it's been a little humbling, but you know, it's okay. I think one thing that was really special was Rob very much kind of sees the potential of each person and you know kind of disregards where you're at on the team and, and knows that like he can give you just as much attention and commitment. You think about uh, what they did at practice, what they did at meet, but what they've done in life is certainly much more important and, and to hear the success stories uh, on top of stories on top of stories uh, is, is really gratifying. The cross country program wasn't the only team that gathered over the reunion weekend. The men's basketball program also got together and held their alumni game with many of the former pilots recently returning from their professional teams overseas. A lack of defense and a ton of dunks resulted in a pretty entertaining game. What's up, Coop? What's going on, you How we doing? We good? I'm good. I'm ready. 
I definitely have a lot of pride when alumni come back on campus, and I also have pride in what they've gone on to do professionally, uh, how they've grown as young people, and to have them back on campus uh, does make me proud of, of the people, the type of people we have in our program. We started the, the alumni game, I think the first one was in 2012, so kind of since that first one, everybody's kind of used it as an, a meeting point during the summer to reconnect and get back together and just hang out. One, two, three. Pilots. Everybody in this Portland community cares about you and wants you to do well, and I think that just, you know, you can feel it when you come here, and when you come back, it's still there. You go through so much recruiting them, getting to know them, watching them graduate, and then to see them all come back and share all these different things with each other. It's just a great time seeing them laughing, telling jokes, and reminiscing of old times. It's just great to see being overseas for nine months a year and being able to come back and reconnect with the guys I played with and the new guys and the coaches and always, you know, a, a high point of my summer. Look at that. Old man booty. Hey, old man cakes. What's, What's up, up bro? It, it feels great. I mean, Coach Reveno, I mean, I was here when he first got here. So, I mean, he really, from the start, brought everyone together, made it more like a family, and uh, it's definitely a great thing to be a part of. Hey, that was the greatest comeback from behind victory in alumni history. <laughs> the greatest of all time. I was on the winning team. Uh, I think I have the best alumni record <laughs> in the history of the school so far. I think I'm undefeated. So, uh, actually, last year was a tie, but that was fun. It was, it was a good time. There's not too much defense, so um, I was talking to the coaching staff actually before the game, trying to get some dunks for the crowd, get them going a little bit, something to watch. Coaches were refereeing, so like it's good to you know talk a little trash to them. It's always uh, a plus, you know, I'm being from Portland and everything too, and of course seeing you guys, seeing Buzz over there too, definitely brings back memories, kind of goes into flashback mode there for a little bit, but it's definitely something that uh, I, I look actually forward to every year, trying to come back, playing this game, enjoy, and of course win. I'm proud of the players we've had. I'm proud of the, the players we've got now and the type of people we are and the championship teams we're trying to build. Seeing the whole scope is really helpful for us to see what we're trying to do. Coming up on Portside with the Pilots, a look at the two new additions to the men's basketball staff and their ties to the program. The coach, uh, coach Reveno, who uh, recruited and coached me in college, is a, is a great opportunity. 